famous quality that is associated with Tai Chi Chuan is softness. Now softness is important everywhere. Um, when my students went to Dr. Chi, my teacher in Vancouver, we, where he retired to, um, I sent to almost 50 students there, many couples and many women. So at least half of the number would be women. And what he said was, all the women are better than all the men, speaking as a Tai, a tai Chi Chuan master. And it meant that the average woman has a natural feel for uh, softness. And basically what softness is, is listening. But listening with your whole body. So, and, and men can achieve it, I've achieved it, Dr. Chi achieved it, his teacher achieved it. Uh, it's very important, you may have a natural bend for such a thing, but unless you get someone to bring it out, or you can be introduced from, from nowhere and, and perhaps catch it, but I haven't seen that. Normally, what I have come across is people who, are, who develop softness were soft already. And um, that listening quality is the quality that you uh, are advised to bring all, to all meditation. This approach to softness is very much a, a Chinese thing. Uh, softness can be everywhere. I have not seen it in that many places. Um, when I looked at the book uh, of um, Light on Yoga by uh, B.K.S. Iyengar, fantastic bloke, could do anything with his body. Uh, and he did it with your body as well, so he used to come to England and it came across as torture. And um, I'm sure it was very noble in intent, Yehudi Menuhin. Um, wrote a foreword to the book. So he's quite distinguished in his way and he's, he's a tiger. But the thread running through what he did was not softness. It was a sort of hardness. So it was a sort of um, uh, a concentration of his power to be successful. And he was. Ma amazing. But not what a Tai Chi person would suggest. It's dealing with the other person that is the point of softness because it means that you're listening to them. And um, there's an important thing that is like a discovery of mine, but it's a development of my father's work, is that um, everybody you meet has a connection with you. Connection is extremely wonderful. So that connection is two-way, you and them. And um, what it boils down to is that these are living ancestors for you, as you are a living ancestor to them. And it means then that all the people you've ever met are your living ancestors. But they are in the same position. All the people they've met are their living ancestors. So there's a sort of an amazing web of, of meaning to being a human being. So the simple way of um, teaching you and getting you to yield uproot and downroot is the beginning of how to survive um, an in interaction with another human being because you're both learning how to uh, survive the worst kind of attack in the world. Um, and you can only do this if you touch what the timeless heart is uh, about. And the timeless heart is about heart work. So the heart is where it's at. The heart is everything. But it's the heart that is free, strong, capable and soft. And the thing about uh, softness is that it returns. So you've got this thrust to
towards um, destiny, but destiny thrusts towards you. And it reaches you, it penetrates your right temple down through the heart and the uh, it brings the timus, it hits the timus and the timus goes down and joins with the heart. Timus nestles heart. So this nestling is, is a wonderful uh, feeling. The nestling can only happen softly.